Hey guys, SJ Vlogs back at you. Hope y'all doing well. Um, with the new hairstyle, as you guys can see. Um, I just want to get a quick um, review. Um, it's, a, it's a shisha place that I've actually been passing by for ages now. Um, I always seem to pass it on my travels, and I've always wondered what, what it's all about because it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty quiet area. It's not too busy, like a high street or nothing like that. King's Grill and, and, and Lounge or something like that. And the base, I think, is Meads Lane in Seven Kings areas. My honest review, here's the pros and the cons, or you want to like, or the good and the bad. Uh, first of all, I liked, I liked, because the location is it's pretty quiet. It's not, it's not too noisy in there. Or maybe at that time when I was, there was a bunch of guys that were doing some sort of like conference thing or some web, webinar or something. I don't know what they were up to. You know, obviously they unwind and enjoy my that one time I get that sheet out yeah. pretty quiet. It wasn't like really loud music, and that's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, I'm I'm freaking fed up with going to these shisha places like where it's so loud. What? What? I can't hear you. It's just like a, it's all like a hip hop or something. Don't get me wrong. I like my hip hop. I like my music, but at the same time, I don't want to be going there where it's like loud and it attracts all the you know. The riff raff that comes with it, do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll yeah, blood, yeah, blood. Yeah, Let's go to the Shisha uh, joint and act like a hardcore gangster. You know what I'm saying? I tune sometimes if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling like, not I'm say relaxed, but feeling well rested and not tired or anything like that, and I don't, I don't want to reflect about things. Then yeah, I, if I, a social thing basically. If I want to go on a social thing with my wife or my mates, yes, then that's, that's that's fine. But at this place, I wanted it to be more like one of those typical Arabic cafes, like where. Yalla Habibi, I get the apple grape and mints. Smoke a shisha, you do your own thing, you eat a meal, or whatever, have your tea or coffee, and you go. Um, that's the kind of thing I was looking for. So, yeah, that was the, the, one of the good experiences. So, but me being me, uh, first time, and me being a burger fan, that kind of tells you what, what, what was the next step. So, I decided to go for one of their gourmet burgers, and it, uh, the guy told me it was a lamb burger. And I'm gonna be funny, <laughs> I asked the guy straight up, I said, so Look, I don't want masala in it. If you, you guys put it in, he goes, and he looked at me funny, like, What? No, no, masala, man, come on, right? You know, like, like, like come I, on, y'all. I, I don't know my stuff about my burgers. But, anyways, um, so I ordered the lamb burger down in, in the shisha area, um, and actually, it's quite nice. I really like the chilled out atmosphere with the nice lighting, and the seating was quite comfortable with heat lamps everywhere. Like it's 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 quite narrow, but it's like nice. Like I said, they've got the nice lighting. Like I said, the music wasn't too loud. You know, they had heat lamps everywhere, so it, it was pretty good. Um, so moving right right into it, or uh, right onto it, should I say, um, the burger. Uh, burger was nothing nothing to to go. I mean, it's actually a joke. Actually, <laughs> I, I, I specifically specifically said to the guy, I don't want a masala, so he should know. Hey, maybe this guy doesn't want any kind of spices whatsoever. Yes, I know. Here's here's my, here's my honest honest in the burger. It was like eating a freaking homemade dry uh, like like almost like whatever you call them. And if I go for a burger out and eat, I expect a burger like a proper American. It was a joke. I mean, it was probably like it's probably like uh, that horse meat. It anyone? was like that thick at one point, and it was so dry. Um, it was funky because I asked for burger sauce, and yeah, I he put chilies in there, which were blatantly masala type of chilies, uh, or it's that. And so I didn't enjoy it, but I was hungry. I ate it. And I, um, I'm not uh, one of these premium shisha smokers, star bars, and Fantasia, and all that. Know, that, that nonsense right I'm a very like I said if if this is the kind of guy that's saying to you he wants to go to like a peaceful like Arabic talk, uh, style cafe like you know we see these you know maybe like the old I don't know because I don't like too much loud music all the time um, like I, said, there's a, I think there's a time and place for that I'm, I'm a grown ass, stuff. I'm ass grown. man I'm gonna go there uh, and enjoy my time when I'm there so this is why I really like this place uh, but I could be wrong I could be wrong because maybe it's because that guy hired out for his conference thing so they're probably being selective with who they're letting in and stuff like that but going back to the shisha, um, I am a fucker. Uh, I mean, come on, guys. What's the deal with this whole frozen flavors. stuff? Uh, this whole frozen I premium like range. If I want to get frozen, I will stand outside naked. Flavors, but I, I just fancied the peach kiwi and mint, or kiwi peach and mint, whatever you call it. And it was actually very good. It was actually very smooth. Um, you know, the cold was going for a while. Um, and then to top it up, it was actually very good. It was actually very. And then to top it up, I asked him a mint tea. 
Now, you might be thinking, um, I've been to some places where I asked for a mint tea and I'm expecting to get that the proper like brown tea, the Lipton Golden Label tea, whatever the Arabic tea, whatever they, they drink over there in the Middle East, uh, with a bit of mint in that, that glass, right? And sure enough, it was the one. Um, because I've been to places where you go there and ask for a mint tea, it's one of those ones you can get from Tesco that takes nothing like the real uh, mint tea that I'm used to drinking, or most probably uh, everyone else is used to drinking. So that was a bit positive note. Um, so the tea, so the tea went down really well. Um, and the shisha was very, you know, very smooth. And I kind of like, you know, I liked it. The service was a bit slow. The service was a bit slow. I waited a long time for my burger, but I give those guys the benefit of the doubt that because they had that conference thing going on, um, because before my burger came out, like there's like loads of plates are coming out, like chicken wraps, like chicken burgers, um, everything was coming out, right? So that's what that's my input in it, anyways. Um, would I go back there again? I definitely would go back there again. Would I get that burger again? No way, no way. Um, I should have went, my gut was telling me at that time to go for the, probably the Peri Peri, look around the corner, and that's for, for the little. Yeah, so in all, it was, it was a good experience. Um, I would go back there again. I'll probably go for a, if I have to go there, if I know that I'm, I'm fancying like Desi food, that's gonna be a, 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 a double whammy or a double bomb. Uh, why do I keep screwing up on my words? Uh, sorry. Um, that would be like a, like a, you know, just an added bonus basically because I'm gonna. I know that I, now. I know that if I, if I have the taste or I want to have like a like a tandoori style like grilled chicken, um, or, you know, like you know whatever with salad or rice or whatever they, they serve there, I'll go there. Um, and then the shisha. I know the shisha is smooth. I know the mint tea is good. Um, I didn't ask him about the coffee because that's a whole other topic. Like you're walking in, they're, like, they're, thinking, they're probably thinking, who the f is this fool walking in right now? But yeah, there we go. I, I didn't do that. So maybe next time I go, I will go there again. Actually, like I said I don't know when now. That's the question. But next time I do that, uh, do decide to go, um, I will ask the question and say, look, can you just tell me about you a bit more about your coffee? Is it is it instant or is it is it actually is there a machine that you use? And if I got a strange feeling that this yes, place doesn't use uh, a machine to make the coffee, so I'll probably stick with the desi no, tea. If that's the case. I can make this at home. Um, I'm not going to pay one pound fifty, two two pound, whatever the prices they charge. Because like he charged me two pound for this mint tea, which was a bit expensive. I think it was a bit expensive. But, you know, I haven't really been out much these That's days. right, guys. Uh, um, when you so are working like, uh, and you're a family well, man, it's very so difficult to get that social life that you used to have. Quite, quite comparative or relevant or whatever. You know what I mean. So, um, yeah, sorry, guys. This is something I'm passionate about and I don't want to keep on rambling on. And there's so much coming in my mind. So this is why I am kind of delivering like this, if you like. So forgive me. So, but yeah, on the whole, it was definitely a good place. It's, it's definitely a place that I will go back there again, actually. So the next time I have a, a moan to myself and I think, I'm going for shisha, I probably will go there. I probably will go there. I know if I know I'm a very little time. But I, I knew I had a lot of time on me today. So I thought, boom, I'm going to do this. And I'm actually glad I did it. So um, other than that, I'll, I'll go into the, the food and the burger side and another, and another story here. But the main thing I want to say is, Big ups to the uh, flavor, uh, the shisha, the one flavor, of course. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. So, that's it. That's it. Uh, SJ Vlogs.